Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys a lot of the pre-Black Friday and Black Friday deals I found on uh, physical media, so DVDs and Blu-rays and all that kind of stuff at um, the main big box stores that I went to in 2023. So Best Buy, Walmart, Target, kind of the usual stuff. And um, basically here's taking a look at what Best Buy has um, for the pre-Black Friday stuff, I forget the actu actual uh, day that I recorded this footage. It was um, it was either on or before the 19th, Sunday the 19th. I think this might, might have been a day or two before that, actually. I'm going to show you a few pictures um, just after this little footage that were, I know, were filmed on the 19th. But anyways, so you can see that there was just one little Black Friday shipper there with, the, you know, that little black thing there, cardboard stand and that was basically all they had for pre-black friday deals um at the time that i shot this so i also wanted to just show you guys the main movie section that they had here at um, the best buy closest to me just because as um i think it's pretty well known at this point that best buy has announced that they're no longer going to be selling physical media um, starting at some point in 2024, I think the early part of 2024, they're basically going to be just completely phasing it out, you know, and that's both in stores and online, which is, you know, I think that kind of came as a shock to a lot of us that it, you know, they kind of just pulled the plug just instantly like that. I know they've been, you know, just like every other store slowly, um, shrinking down their movie sections, but at this point they just decided to completely pull the plug on it. I think it's pretty sad, but, um, you know, kind of just a sign of the times, I guess we all kind of saw that coming. Um, I'll talk maybe a little bit more about that later, but for now, here's just, uh, basically a good look at the movie section as it is at my closest Best Buy. Got this, uh, 4K little island here, basically a few little islands, and then they've got the main, um, aisle, um, of movies there. And they actually, surprisingly, they just moved it from where it used to be. Um, just before, you know, getting basically as the store was getting their, um, holiday shipments of, you know, all kinds of TVs and computer monitors and all these sorts of things that were lining up the aisles and stuff, you know, boxes and boxes of TVs. Um, but anyways, here's a look at where they put the movie section now. Um, the other side had a lot of the Disney movies and that sort of stuff. This side has a lot of the movies and TV shows, a lot of decent deals on TV shows actually recently, like Family Guy, like five volume slash season sets for like 17 bucks or something. If I didn't already have those, I would be definitely snatching those up. But um, anyway, so that was just a little bit of footage of the actual um, uh, the actual store before Black Friday. Now, a few of these pictures I'm going to show you are from uh, November 19th, which is the Sunday before Black Friday, before Thanksgiving, uh, they added a little bit more stuff, more of these, um, uh, sh basically these cardboard shippers with movies, and a lot of them were discounted, like you can kind of see, I don't know, it's a little bit blurry, but like, uh, we got the Super Mario movie and the Barbie movie, it looks like these were all like 10, 10 or $15 or something like that, uh, again, apologies, it's a little bit blurry, and then, um, just some more shippers here of various other titles that were, you know, basically eight, seven ninety nine or nine ninety nine and up. So they weren't all those prices listed there, but um, some of them definitely were. And then a few Disney titles here in its own little island, and then um, a five ninety nine stand there, as you can see. And so. And then this last picture here I'll show you is uh, just one other side of these shippers here with some more, um, you know, some decent deals, some kind of just okay deals on these movies. Um, for me personally, there was nothing that I really felt like I needed to pick up. I'm kind of at this point in collecting personally where I have most of the things that I want in my collection already. So a lot of these things that kind of are you know, good deals. I, I just don't need them. Cause I just, my collections almost kind of full ish, you know, there's always more things I could get, but, um, so that's why, you know, there just wasn't anything that I really wanted. I, I was tempted to pick up national lampoons vacation on 4k for 10 bucks. I thought that was a good deal, but inevitably I decided just 
to pass it by because I just know that it's going to be one that I just won't have time to watch. So maybe I'll just skip by it um, instead of blind buying, blind buying that one like I do for, you know, a lot of other movies that I buy. So um, anyways, that was a look at Best Buy. Now we'll take a look at Target. And these were the pre-Black Friday deals at Target. And basically, I just took a few pictures of Target uh, versus video just because it was a little bit easier in this case. So they did have one, basically just this one black shipper here with movies $10 and under and movies $20 and under. So there were some decent deals there, like Super Mario movie, again, 10 bucks and so forth. It looks like, and I think those were DVDs on the top left there. And then Blu-rays are on the right. So uh, I don't know, something like that. There was some kind of some various organization to this. But anyways, main point being that there were, were a small selection of, you know, kind of pre-Black Friday um, movies at Target. So there was a look at that. And then here is just a quick look at the regular movie section, which is, um, you know, it's very small. It's one, you know, little aisle segment, basically. You can see they've got a few of the Christmas titles with some um, kind of special slip covers and things, and a lot of those titles were on sale. A few other movies were on sale as well, and they had the buy two, get one free thing going on at this time as well, which was, you know, I would say it's a, you know, that's always been a good deal in the past, but now the selection is so small that it's kind of slim pickings um, for that. And then the one last section that they do have is this little... Uh, end cap that's kind of hiding a little bit further away that has ma mostly uh, it has a lot of a few tv shows and just other various movies so um, basically that was a look at target pretty small as target has been slimming down their movie section i have not heard if targets made any announcements to you know discontinue physical media sales or anything i haven't heard about anything so i, I don't know but obviously you know, at least at this time, their movie section is smaller than Best Buy, but that's soon to not be the case when Best Buy, <clears throat> excuse me, pulls out altogether at the, you know, sometime in the beginning of 2024. So next we'll take a look at Walmart. And um, these are actually the Black Friday deals. Um, and Walmart had no movies. I'm, show I'm showing you what they had for video games. They had one little cardboard island shipper with special deals for video games, which some of them were decent deals. I did pick up a small um, um, handful of titles of, of games that I, I wanted to buy for myself, Switch games, and actually at a different Walmart, not this one. Um, and then I picked up a few more that I might try to resell online for just a very small profit. We'll see if that actually works out or not. But then I wanted to just show you the main movie section at this particular Walmart, um, just just for the heck of it, I guess, just because um, they didn't have any other movies for sale. And just for the sake of kind of capturing history, I guess you can see what the uh, movie section looks like here in uh, November 2023 for basically just their, you know, their usual movie section. So you can see that they've got some holiday stuff out there, um, new releases and all that. And then basically moving on towards, um, you know, from from the aisle closest to the, the main Walmart aisle there, you know, where everybody's walking, it, it's more expensive titles and the new releases. And then you progressively get a little bit cheaper towards getting towards the back of the aisle, towards the TVs and stuff. You know, now we're getting into like a lot of these Disney, older Disney movies that are on DVD for like between around $5 to 10 bucks, except for a flubber there, which is three seventy four. That's a good deal for that one. I had to just take a look at this little, um, little weird cassette Lego ish building thing for a second, but then moving along more, you know, basically random DVDs, a little bit of anime stuff there, Dragon Ball Z, um, and basically a lot of compilations and things like that. We've got some, you know, SpongeBob compilation discs there and uh, movie collections, that sort of thing. There's some TV shows on DVD and that sort of thing. So a lot of these are, you know, you get a little bit more obscure towards the back here, I guess you could say. Um, there's some Christmas collection stuff there as well. And then the last thing um, before I end this little clip is to go back and show you guys the Christmas section. And then I guess just a quick note about why I'm 
I don't have any audio in these videos and I'm kind of narrating over the top of them is just because I didn't want to talk in any of the stores with music playing and uh, people walking around and stuff. So, but anyways, here's a look at the holiday movies end cap there. Um, decent selection, um, albeit pretty small. And then here's a here's here's a real treat for you. Here's the Black Friday deals at Target on actual Black Friday. And I did forget to actually film that shipper. That should have still been there, I think. I forgot, I just forgot to film it. But um, here's just a quick clip of the main movie section here at Target. Um, you know, maybe a few different titles on sale or something, but otherwise it's uh, not any different. They still got the buy one or a buy two, get one free whole thing going on. I just wanted to kind of show you kind of how small the movie section is. It's basically just been replaced by books. Um, so there's just that one half aisle and then this um, kind of displaced uh, smaller aisle with a few TV shows and just other random movies. So there is a look at Target. Um, not a whole lot to see there on Black Friday. And then here at Best Buy, here is um, basically what we had. I didn't ver get very good video footage because when I was here, it was kind of late morning and there were quite a few people, but you can see they did add some more stuff and they got a random um, um, cart in the aisle with like stuff that was not really Black Friday stuff. It was just more regularly priced stuff. They had like some Christmas movies on there and stuff. Um, I'll show you a few more pictures of some things that I was able to get still images of later on here. Um, but I didn't get everything, but you can see, you know, more, they had more shippers of these Black Friday movies, but on Black Friday itself, it didn't even look like a lot of those titles were necessarily like Black Friday prices. They were just on these, you know, these shelves, but like sort of regular priced or whatever, but I don't know. Anyways, there was, um, there's a good look at basically the main movie section. Here's some more of those shippers. Some of the stuff has been picked over just because it, you know, I didn't get here early in the day. I just got there. Um, whenever I did, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning or something. But here's, here's a, a picture I took of one of the Black Friday shippers there. This might have been the original one that was there before Black Friday. And you can see that a lot of the movies on there are, there's a few that are on sale, but a few that are, are a lot of them that are just like regular price, which is like, huh, that's weird. I don't know why they're, I don't know why it's like that. And then this other one here, um, these other few here, just, you can see they're kind of picked over, but a lot more of these ones were titles that were actually on sale for, for Black Friday. Um, as far as the deals went, there were some decent ones, um, but also, you know, kind of just kind of okay deals, I guess, but nothing really like, oh my gosh, I just have to get that. You know what I mean? Um, then here's just a look at another one here. Uh, you know, these titles, I think were all on sale to some degree, but not like super cheap or anything necessarily. So there's a look at that. And um, basically that kind of gets us to the end. So um, now the rest of this, I kind of showed you guys what they had. Now the rest of this is just going to be me rambling for maybe another few minutes here. So Black Friday 2023 in summary is, you know, as expected from the beginning, you know, I wasn't, I didn't have high hopes for it. Um, as you know, basically since, well, even probably before COVID, but definitely during COVID, um, the Black Friday or basically holiday sales of movies in especially the big box stores, they've just been going, you know, down and down and down. Um, I remember, I think the best, the best of the movie sale days with all kinds of DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff on sale was probably about 10 ish years ago. I have some very old videos on my channel, uh, going out to different stores and stuff. And, um, yeah, the deals were much more better. And those were, those were the days when you had to, you know, that was, uh, Black Friday was the day or Thanksgiving and people were getting trampled in stores and that sort of thing. And the lines were wrapping around and people were camping out for different deals and things. Things are a lot different these days now in 2023, especially after COVID. And in some ways that's good because they're bas the stores are basically spreading out the deals. A lot of deals are starting before Black Friday, you know, even a week or two leading up to Black Friday. And then more sales, you know, are likely um, after Black Friday, before Christmas. And that's always been the case, but, you know, maybe even a little more so these days. 
Um, and I think that's good because I don't, you know, I never liked the whole idea of Black Friday being the only day or one of the only days that you can get the best deals and you got to go out and it's just a big madhouse. So, you know, Black Friday, uh, where I was at, um, I didn't, you know, I didn't start going out to the stores at like 6 a, 6 a.m. on Friday when a lot of them opened. But I, you know, I went around late morning and the stores were busy. They were definitely busy, but they weren't, you know, it wasn't a big hassle to buy anything. Um, I don't, I don't know that I actually bought anything when I went out in the morning, but even if I, if I would have, the lines were not very long in any of the stores really. It was just like, just a little bit more, you know, probably, I don't know. It was more busy than just a, an average day, but not by too much anyways. Um, so, you know, the, the times have changed and as far as the phys physical media sales go, they've been dwindling and I expect that, you know, I think it's quite likely that we're, you know, in the next maybe year or two, we're probably not going to see very much, if any, sales on physical media for Black Friday anymore at all, because obviously we got Best Buy completely phasing them out. Um, Target's movie section is already, you know, basically nothing. It wouldn't surprise me if they don't do any Black Friday sales maybe next year or at least the year after. And they might be next to announce that they're not going to carry physical media anymore. It's hard to know. Um, and then Walmart, they did not have um, any um, physical media, you know, DVDs or Blu-rays on sale for Black Friday at all this year. So I don't think they'll have any more of that ever going forward. Um, you know, probably not. Although Walmart's an interesting case because it seems like as the other stores like Target and Best Buy are kind of starting to completely pull out of the physical media game, um, Walmart is kind of tending to their current size of their movie section. It has been shrinking over the years, but at least their cur the current size that it is, <coughs> excuse me, it seems like they're kind of, you know, keeping it as, as some of these other stores drop out and... I've said this on a previous video, but I, I think if any any of the big box stores would be well suited to do that, it might be Walmart just because there's so many more Walmart stores spread around the country, including in the rural areas where, you know, perhaps they'd get more sales of, you know, movie, you know, movies like that. I don't know if if they're if they're in a place where Internet access is a little bit spotty or something like that. That's just me kind of completely guessing. I don't know a whole lot, but um, that's just kind of the current state of affairs for physical media in the, the three main big box stores right now in 2023, as well as what the Black Friday deals were. So um, yeah, this is kind of turning into me talking about just physical media in general <laughs> at the big box stores. But as far as other, you know, sales went, the other thing to mention too is a lot of these sales that you see in the stores here for anything, you could basically just get them all online. You didn't have to go to the stores for really any of this stuff. Um, the video games or the movies, the you know, Best Buy had the same deals online, I'm pretty sure all of that. Video games at Walmart, you know, since they had no movie sales, those were all online from what I could see. And then Target, I didn't really pay attention to what Target had online, but um, I guess I don't know for them, so I won't I won't uh, just make things up. But yeah, a lot of stuff online that you can get. And then um, the, the other thing I didn't really cover, you know, I really haven't looked at other places like, let's say, Barnes & Noble or FYE or, you know, some of the more boutique shops that are a little bit larger like Bull Moose or some of those other places for whatever Black Friday deals or Cyber Monday deals they have. I'm probably probably going to have to go take a look at those because I hadn't really. But I just wanted to show you kind of the main uh, stores and what they had for 2023. So um, I think that'll be enough of my rambling. We'll see if this will be the last one of these kind of videos that I do. I know that I haven't been doing... You know, this hasn't been an annual thing necessarily. I haven't done a Black Friday video every single year since I've started my, you know, this Jay's Blu-rays YouTube channel. But I've, you know, I've done them at least a few years. Um, and so this was 2023 and we'll see if there's going to be one in 2024. It really depends if there's going to be any sales, which is kind of a question mark, I got to say. So with that all said... Um, this is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video.